All right, Shalom, Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and her rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Okay, and, um, the title of this lesson is uh, Envy Not the Works of a Sinner. Okay? And I'm going to grab some scriptures and Lord willing to be an edifying lesson. Alright, so without further ado. Um, matter of fact, let me go to the book of Sirach first. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11 and 21. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 21. It says, marvel not at the works of sinners. That's right, man. You know, the sinners of our people. You know, you have your, uh, your drug dealers, your game bangers in the hood. And our people... Uh, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they envy that lifestyle, man. You know, if these these rappers, these entertainers, you know, the people they see on TV, they 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 em they they envy that, man. They marvel at it, man. You know, they see all the jewelry, the money, cars, clothes, and hoes. Okay, but they don't understand that our people have done wicked acts, man. Okay, they have broken the law, statute, commandments to achieve those things. Okay, and the, and the, that's why I named the title of this lesson, "Envy Not," man. You know, you're not supposed to uh, be covetous, covetousness of a sinner, man. All right. It says, "But trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor." That's right. Always trust in the Lord, man. Because yeah, it may seem like you're working for pennies. All right, you may be getting paid twelve dollars an hour. Okay, ten dollars an hour. All right, and what you bring in in two weeks, a drug dealer brings in in a day. Okay, all these athletes, these entertainers, <laughs> they bring in within seconds. All right, but the Lord saying what? But trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. Okay, it says, and abide in thy labor. That's right, abide in this truth, man. Abide in thy work. All right, you have to constantly be working, man. Like the ant. Okay, you ever watch your ant? It's constantly moving, constantly working, man. That's how you have to be in this truth, man. You can't just be a bump on the log. Okay? It says, For it, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on suddenly to make a poor man rich. All right? It's nothing for the God of Bible to make a, a, a poor man rich, man. To make you rich. All right? You know, and I'm I'm gonna grab a a, a, a precept on that. It's First Samuel's two. This uh First Samuel's two and seven. It says, "The Lord, the Most High Yahweh, make of poor, and make of rich." See, there it is. See, the Lord makes you poor, or He makes you rich, man. So it's nothing for the Lord to lift you up and make you rich. All right? Don't envy. Don't be jealous. Don't don't marvel at, at the works of a sinner, man. Okay? Because all these athletes, these entertainers, okay, these drug dealers, they have done wicked things. They have uh, committed sin to reach those, uh, those uh, worldly gifts, man. You know? So um, I'm going to read this verse again. It's 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7. The Lord make a poor and make a rich. He bringeth bring of low and lift it up. Mm -hmm. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill and set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he have set the world upon them. Yes, the point is the Lord can can bring you up, bring you low and he can make you rich, man. You know? So, um, grab another precept because I, you know, 
uh, you know, I know growing up, you know, when I was, uh, you know, a young kid, I used to always, you know, uh, 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 envy and be jealous of the drug dealers in the neighborhood, you know, walking around with, with wads of money, okay, they had all the girls in the neighborhood, you know, they had the nice cars, the nice systems, Okay, they had the, the 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 latest Tommy Hill figure, the latest Nautica. They had they had the uh, Timberland, you know the uh, all the material things, man. Okay, but what the Lord tells us not to not to even um, you know marvel at them, man. So the next precept I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 37. Yep, 37 and 1. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. That's right, sin upon sin, man. You know, these drug dealers, they're really witches and warlocks, man. And the Lord suffers them not to live according to the scriptures, man. All right, no, they out here selling drugs to achieve uh, 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 carnal things in this life, man. And it all uh, uh, boils down to uh, money, cars, clothes, and hoes, man. Ain't that what the uh, that demon Biggie said? Money, cars, the clothes, and hoes. All, all, all a nigga know. Okay, it's Psalms thirty-seven and one. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Mhm. Mm and that's the thing, man. You're not supposed to be envious of these uh uh uh, uh of the workers of iniquity, man. Okay, because look, you know that drug dealer eventually is gonna go. Up. He gonna either get shot, you know, and be put to death. Or oh, he's going to be in jail. You know? What did verse 2 say? Psalms 37 and 2. It says, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So eventually, <laughs> the Lord's going to get them, man. Okay? So I'm going uh, to grab two more before I get up out of here. I'm going back to the book of Sirach. All these damn ads. Um, Sirach, let me see, chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 11, verse 11, kind, this is the book of Ch uh, Sirach, chapter 9, verse 11, it says, envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end, that's right, you over here, uh, uh, uh jealous over these athletes, these entertainers, okay, they sold their soul, okay, to get the uh, the riches of this world, okay. The scripture says, "What envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end." You don't know that 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 uh, sinner's end, man. That drug dealer, okay. That movie star, all right. You know the the LeBron Jameses, okay. The uh, the Denzel Washingtons, the Oprah Winfrey's, okay. Uh, um, uh, 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 triple OG in the hood has been selling selling drugs for over twenty years. Okay, you don't know what their end's gonna be. Okay, so don't you worry about that, man. Okay, it says, uh, uh let me see. That was the point on that. And I'm going to grab one more for our close. I'm going to go to Proverbs 23rd chapter. Uh, yep. This is Proverbs 23 and 17. Let not thy heart envy sinners. That's right. You know, let not thy mind. You know, your, that word heart comes from the Hebrew word love. It means your mind. Envy sinners. But be thou in fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All day long. So that's the thing, man. 
Let not your mind envy these these workers of iniquity out here, man. Sin upon sin, okay? Because that's what sin is according to the Bible. Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. You know? And I can get that real quick just to prove it. It's lucky. That's not it. Let's see here. No, it's not second, John. Slacky, <laughs> Hockey, hold on a sec. This is, uh... I had to go to my sword. Un momento, por favor. Let's see here. Lock you. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law For sin is the transgression of the law And that's the thing man We're not supposed to be uh, You know envying These uh, 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 workers of iniquity man Because they're what They're transgressing the laws that The heavenly father gave us man Okay, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Do not envy them. Do not envy them. Okay? Because you don't know what their end's gonna be. So I'm gonna go back to Proverbs and uh finish that out. That's Proverbs 23 and 17. Let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh Bashimi all the day all the day long. And that's what we're supposed to be doing as Hebrew Israelites. Okay? Fearing Yahweh Bashimi Shai, man. And not uh uh um envying these sinners out here, man. Okay? Because look, they have received their consolation, man. Alright? They've received their, their secondhand prize. Okay, on this side. Alright? So with that, Lord, when I was edifying lesson, before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and her rule well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. Shalom.